There's an entertaining two to watch in the new season of programs tomorrow on ITV. At 7.30, a new series of Give Us a Clue with new host, Michael Parkinson. Man's name? Uh, Frank. Fra Frank. Frank. Frankie goes to Hollywood. <laughs> Frank. Frank. I'm only a cockeye doctor. <laughs> and at 8, a new stunt challenge 84. Spectacular action to bring you to the edge of your seats. Stunt challenge 84 at 8 and Give Us a Clue at 7.30. An entertaining two to watch tomorrow on ITV. And now in tonight's company are Bridget Plass, Robert Pierce, and Peter Chesney. Yeah, horrible, really. Yes. I mean, I, instead of two sort of school uniforms already and two lots of haircut, it's three this time because yeah. David goes to school on Wednesday. It's a horrible yeah. feeling, actually. I yes. feel horrible this week. Yes. <laughs> yes. What are you going to do when he goes? I don't know. I'll have to tell you when I. <laughs> I'm quite scared. I. I mean. There's loads of times when I'm not with David. I mean, I'm yeah. not with him when I come to see you here. I mean, yeah. it's not that... But it seems such a fundamentally big thing. I keep mm. looking at people with babies at the moment and mm. thinking, you know, would it be worth... It's so <laughs> fundamentally big to. change. <laughs> but I'm not really. But, you know, that that's it. That's that door completely closed. Yeah. I am no longer a mother of children under... You know, under school, under school age. age. Mm. And they half belong to somebody else from now on, really. He's at school all day, each, each well, day? Well, no, half day half for day. a little while. Yeah. Yeah. Not at all like the, the lovely old Labrador I had once, which had uh, six pups, you know, and we, we, watched, we, we sold these pups one after the other, and we thought when we sold the last one that she would go berserk on us and so on. She didn't, she'd just lay out flat out and heaved a great sigh of relief. You don't feel like that. I might do when it's happened. I don't at the moment. I feel sick. <laughs> <laughs> but it's going to be smashing for him, isn't it? Yes, I think it really? is. And I mean, I mean that's, very tiring that's all part of it, isn't it? But I mean, Peter, it must have felt worse because you've got, you've got six grown-up kids, Six, six grown-up grown and, and, and the little one. And I it mean, was quite fantastic watching them all go off. Really, it was. Bit by bit. But I think, you see, the thing is that uh, the going to school bit, they, they come back and you watch them and you've got all the trauma that you live through with them of going to school. Yeah. When they get older, though, you get this stage where they develop themselves and you've got to let them develop their own lives right. and you've got to stand back while they do I this. mean, that must be trebly hard. I yes, but it's it. fascinating yeah. if you keep on, you know, thinking all the time, here is a person I'm watching come up to the real potential, you know, and become a real person in their own right. Then, of course, they leave home properly. They get a job, or they go off and train, they get a job, and then they get married. And you've got this business of, you know, what sort of fella is she bringing back to get married to her, and what sort of, yes. um, what sort of girl is he bringing back that he's going to get? I mean, do you Enormous approve? adjustment, I should think. Did yes. you find that difficult? I, I really, at first, be, thought I was going to. Then I found that I enormously enjoyed this, this process because I mean, there is something very special about watching people become people. Yeah. You yeah. make it sound, though, Peter, as though you're quite sort of um, distanced from it, you know, as no, though you could almost uh, watch, it, yeah. watch it happen. I mean, mm. I mean like, um, like Bridget, Oliver starts school this week. And um, mm. like you, I, I work from... Well, you, you, you perhaps don't work from home now, but you, you have worked from home during your ministry. Oh, I both, guess. yes. And so I've, I've yes. got a bit, of, almost a sort of mother and father, <laughs> father <laughs> and mother role, in, yes. in a sense of being around in the house a bit yes. more than many, many men. But I find it quite difficult to sort of, to stand back. I, I mm. tend to become fairly um, emotionally involved. And I think not only will Margaret miss Miss Oliver when he's away in the mornings yeah. this week, but, um, but I shall as well in a way. There are bits of it that I should be quite glad to miss. I mean, one of the things we were talking about sort of earlier this week was um, all the talking, and, and Oliver does talk a great deal, <laughs> and he would be quite nice. And yes. have a little less chatter around and the place less wide in the I morning. Think, I think it's probably that I've got used to having a little friend. Yes, know, I'm and, sure that's right. And that, and that it's, yeah. it's can I actually cope, you know, not not can I cope, I mean, nobody just falls to pieces actually yes. when the child goes to school. Yeah. Most people I, don't when they leave home. But am I enough 
okay in me. Mm. You know, the, I think that the big danger I is that you'll feel that you're, that you're becoming less something yourself. That's really what I mean. Whereas it isn't really mean. true, mm. you know. You're still as much yourself as you ever you were. He's going to need you whenever he comes back again. And in the meantime, you can bring back up again into action some of the things that you haven't been doing for a while. Some of yes, the aspects of your personality that you ought to be using and developing. That's what I hope. <laughs> I think that could be a very enjoyable time. And I, yes. I mean, I seriously hope you'll find it so. But I mean, but I've been I'm lucky with you because, because I'm not right, totally you know? absorbed by them. I mean, I do, yeah. I do have a husband, and I do enjoy we doing have things. Too. You know, <laughs> <laughs> of course you know. Yeah. But I, I mean, there are people for whom their children are everything, and it must be a much bigger I think break. It can be very difficult frightening. for some women, particularly, find it very difficult to to make this change, and I think it's very, very hard for them. Mm. But it's it's a lovely thing if you can come to terms with it. Great occasion. And mind you, we've got Tim going to play school. Um, well, three yeah. warnings this week. No, no, yes, this week. And now here's the weather forecast. The whole region will have a period of rain tonight, heavy at times. Lowest temperatures will be around 13 degrees centigrade. Tomorrow will be mostly dry with some sunshine, but there will be rain in the east at first. Highest temperatures will be about 19 degrees centigrade and winds northerly force 4 to 6. And that's the weather forecast. And so we come to the end of our programmes for today. We hope you enjoyed them and that you'll be joining us again tomorrow when, of course, television starts at 6.25 with Good Morning Britain. Meanwhile, from all of us here at TVS to all of you at home, we wish you a very good night and sleep well. And our final clock check is just coming up to 18 minutes to one. If you can still hear me, don't forget to switch off your set. Good night. <laughs>